Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to make this video. Always wanted to make one and I never had the time. And today is raining, it's a nice beautiful Sunday. So I just decided to come in and show you a little bit about my um, shop. So we've been in business for 13 years and the place that we are right now is my garage. Uh, we moved from my other location because we had a flooding and we just had to like pretty much run with the machines and that's where we are right now we uh, we are looking for a new location look we have um, floor graphics we do sublimation we do engraving stickers you know um, engraving again business cards and things like that invitations cut out invitations so if you guys are a, you are a designer if you guys want to start you know making some a little bit of money with uh, stickers or whatnot give us a call we do work with um with graphic designers as a wholesale account we do have special prices so you guys can make a little bit of money so let me introduce you um to the other all the machines it's just going to be a walkthrough so that way you guys know what i have if you guys have any specific questions feel free to uh, leave a comment uh, or i'll put the information you guys can send me a, a question directly to my email so this is the uh, Xerox Color 560. This is the one where we print all our business cards. We print uh, brochures, posters, and postcards and things like that. Like this one's already to be shipped. And um, this is a beauty. I decided to go with Xerox because I worked with Xerox before from when I was in college. And that's what I knew, so I stuck with it. Um, I might. I don't know, I might do some research on other machines because we are planning to upgrade once we move to the new location. So there is a possibility and, you know, I'll make videos uh, on, you know, if anything happens. So this is a register. This is a register that actually I um, program myself, everything from, from the CPU all the way to the, to the internal um, products and everything. If you guys want something like that, now there's more advanced POS systems but it's the pre pretty much the same basic things so this is the computers where we do all our designs these are um 30 35 inch screens we use that you know the chairs and we use the three cpus to actually um you know create our designs this is the fiery station the fiery station is actually helps you with a lot of the rip uh, is in position like to print business cards and and whatnot so this is this is it what i have here is rubber stamps these actually pre-ink rubber stamps we can make them literally we can make them in 20 minutes if you guys are in a rush we can make them and we have a bunch of sizes and things like that this is for sublimation this is the epson sc5 uh, f570 and i'll tell you a little bit about it I actually started with um, sawgrass. So we started with sawgrass. I bought the 11, uh, 11 by 17 and then the, uh, the 11 by 17 actually gave me an error and I was out of the warranty for I think one week. I called them up, you know, trying to explain, hey, listen, you know, this is what happened. Um, there was an error saying something about the, um, the actually it's here. Look this is the 11 by 17 i think it's still plugged in yeah it's still plugged in i have it plugged in just in case because i'm hoping maybe in i don't know a year or so someone comes out with a replacement print head because it is a beauty you see and it's brand new actually it looks a little bit dirty because it's right here but trust me it's, it's beautiful so the only issue with that was that uh, i was getting i was getting an error and when i called the company the company told me there's nothing we can do the machine is dead and I said, well, you know, you guys make um, production machines. Why can't you have replacement parts? They said, no, you have to buy a new machine. And if you buy a new machine, we'll be glad to give you um, not even a set of inks. They just told me we're going to give you cyan and magenta. What am I going to do with cyan and magenta, magenta? Honestly, I don't know. But maybe I got the wrong uh, customer support uh, person. But honestly, Sawgrass, uh, knock on wood, never going back to them. For that, if you guys um, want, so my video got cut off. I don't know. Um, well, so we got the uh, the Epson because we wanted to personalize um, face masks, and this is what we do. So we have a bunch of uh, 
samples that we did and it just went great anyways moving forward if you guys want to go into a t-shirt business i would say go with the graph tech uh plotter this is the c uh, 7000 we do have the c 6000 as well but it's uh is upstairs uh, and um if you guys want to know where i get the materials i actually found a new provider i know the owner he's really really cool his name his name is lou and he's from jersey and um basically the material is just so beautiful i just finished doing some uh some like you know i think it was like 100 200 shirts this is the one i used before this is the one i use right now and it's just so much better um for weeding and everything it's just so much better anyway so let's go oh so this is the machine we use for regular printing like every day for uh this is the kiosera this is uh we just you know for printing black and white and invoices and things like that this is the one we use for large quantities black and white or different color we actually have four colors you know we have red blue um black and i believe we have green as well so this is for high production things like this jobs like this ones order forms this is my cutter my baby this is my other baby this is the uh this is the roland soldier pro uh three no two actually and this one is a sol um, solvent ink based this is for banners for stickers for everything for you know car wrapping and everything uh, we are getting a larger um, printer we're getting the bf264 inch and we also getting the cutter so once i get it i'll make a video if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave a message and i'll uh, or i'll put my email and you guys can send it i also have the fusion hat pro this ones are beautiful if you guys want to make hats this is just uh, beautiful i had a chinese uh, <laughs> uh you know hat press and it would just it would leave some marks it was just not not good for 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 selling you know for the clientele this one is just beautiful and you could do small like masks and things like that on this one we have two of these ones the other one is upstairs this is the fusion pro this is just for uh for you know t-shirts just get one it's, it's worth it trust me i have inks these are the inks i use for my machines uh the sts i'm actually going to have a reseller's uh, account so if you guys use that ink this ink is beautiful for this this type of machines for rollins solvent uh solvent inks so if you guys want a discount you guys can come back uh, i should be having it within a month or so the account okay so this is my laser engraver here it is that's my baby that one is i actually brought it from china and if you guys want to bring something from china uh i'll give you some contact that how you can bring them in because you have to go through customs and everything i never done it before and it wasn't a pain but it was just a lot of things that i learned so if you guys want to do something like that let me know i'll give you all the the, the contacts and this is what you can do with it you know little earrings this is just samplers that i'm trying to to put out for the website or for etsy and this is what you can do stickers the other machine that's my other roland that one right now is not working there's um there's one of the uh, boards is missing so it's coming next week it should be running and if you're into photographs this one will be great the, the quality of this one this is the hp z3200 is about like i think nine or ten years old but it prints beautifully it has 12 inks six here six here and it, it just prints beautifully so um that said uh if you guys have any questions this is uh you know this is just a run through the office if you have any question if you have uh, similar uh, equipment let me know i'll be more than glad to actually uh, answer any questions if you have uh talking about the the products i'm using right now i'm using the dgi om4 that's the one i'm using right now is the first time I'm actually using and i'm gonna start making tutorials you know how to create files and things with this one actually i bought that one in um in a trip that i went to to, to, to georgia and you see in order to actually compensate for all the buzzing on the microphone i actually put a sock on it it works i mean you could buy the little protector which i think is like 15 or 20 dollars but i just put a sock on it and it just works really really great anyways um that's it and i uh, hope you guys like it subscribe 
and i'll be putting on more videos. thank you.